the Biden administration examined the possibility of setting up an emergency hotline with the Chinese government, similar so-called Red Horn, established between the U.S. and the Soviet Union during the Cold War, which allowed for direct communication with the Korean Marine as the way to evade nuclear war. According to CNN July 14, the United States and China has had a little high-level face-to-face contact since the first senior diplomat meeting under Biden administration in March in Alaska. Number two, U.S. diplomat chairman may visit China if talk pain up. The State Department on July 14 announced that Chairman will visit Japan, South Korea, and Mongolia next week, but did no mention as the step in China. It was a challenging moment in the U.S. relationship with the China. President Joe Biden is set to launch the next phase of his China policy, which a push for high-level meeting with the Beijing office after five months of the pursuit of hard-line stems. The Biden administration has also told Beijing it would like to send the windy chairman, deputy secretary of state, to China over the summer. The exchange in Alaska may have seemed like a debacle, but it was the actually a necessary step to a more stable relationship between the two countries. China has reportedly refused to green deputy secretary of state when you share a meeting with the, her counterpart during the proposal visit. China snapped top U.S. diplomat is due to lack of integrity in the past. A top U.S. office is set to visit China next week to discuss the possible, the possible meeting between the leadership of the two countries. A report claimed on July 7, 